Yes, hello. Uh, today I've got this laptop here. It's an HP Lightbook 840. It's a G1 and it's doing something that is very common. When you plug in the charger, it does not display. However, it turns on and the fan runs very fast and then stops and then starts again. When you look at these indicators, then goes off. The power button also keeps on coming on, then off plus these lights and you see that so this issue is very common in this laptop and it looks to be simple but it's not simple so this one I got it from some guy he had taken it to some technician they tried to change the CPU control chip because when you don't see voltage on the CPU you probably think it's the control chip but it's different so let me show you how we can diagonalize this now in such a condition the first thing you have to do is to check for the standby volts and hereby we check for 5 is present 3.3 is present ram voltage is present charging voltage is present because the battery is not in then when you check here this has to be giving out 1.5 for the cpu when you check here this is meant to have 1.05 for the chipset but it's giving out to 0.2 so this usually indicates the chipset cannot proceed because there is no this kind of voltage the laptop tries to turn on but because it cannot get the feedback that this power is fine that's why it goes on then off and then tries again and then off so when we check the cpu power it is zero it cannot come on until the chipset is on because the chipset is the one that controls this chip that turns on the processor voltage. So what I'm going to do, disconnect this jumper. So after I've disconnected the jumper, we are going to check to see if there is a short because usually a short can drop that voltage. Resistance 65. 65 is not bad for the chipset. When you check ahead, 169. This is not bad. Then we are going to power it on to put the adapter when the jumper is disconnected to see if you can get the voltage. So when I disconnect the jumper, we get zero volts. This means this chip that is meant to produce or to create the chipset power is not either working or is faulty or the signal that turns on the, the chip not present. In laptop, there is what we call power sequence. So power sequence is the step by step that shows which voltage comes first and then which comes next. So the power sequence of this 840, as I'm going to show you in the schematics, it shows that these volts come first, then after these ones come, RAM voltage comes next, then after this, this comes. So this processor voltage cannot come until chipset power is up. So what we are going to do now, we are going to check this chip that creates the chipset power. Now when you look at it, it seems to have a damage at this side. So I've got here a schematics for this motherboard. We are going to check for this chip, it is U6300. So this is the chip. This chip has got 28 pins plus the ground, which is the bottom. Pin 1 is called P good. P good stands for power good. So this is the signal that it communicates to the EC that this chipset power is good. And then we have V in, which is connected to PV but We have V5, 5 volts comes into the chip. And then we have this pin which is 28. Pin 28 shows that enable, which is EN, 105 volts. So we are going to measure and see are these voltage available? So from this dot, that is pin 1, from the schematics, pin 1 is called P good. So let's check for pin 1. So pin 1 has 0 0.6 volts. So pin 1 is automatically absent because the chip is not working. Then let's go to pin 15, 16 and 17, which is V in. So that's where the power that turns on the chip comes in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 16, 17. So 15, 16, 17 is connected to this capacitor. And when we check here, we see that 19 volts is available. So V in is available. So let's look for pin 18, which shows that is 
5 volts. So pin 18 and it's going to produce capacitor. So you can see that 5 volts is available. So let's measure for pin 28. Because if we have V in, we have 5 volts, then we need to check is the chip, is it commanded to turn on or not. So let's check for pin 28. 28 is this last pin. You can see there is 3.3, but when we check, you can see that there is no output. So the chip itself is not shorted, but it's faulty. So let's proceed to replace this chip. I've set my blower at 340 degrees and the air is at maximum. So the chip is out. I'm going to apply this long load solder so that when I'm replacing the board will not take too much heat. So I've got here another motherboard. I'm going to use it as a donor board to extract this chip and replace it here. So it is out. So you have to identify this number. This one is TPS51362. When we check in the schematics, it is called TPS51362. So let's inspect these terminals under microscope. So after inspection, let's measure for short. Yeah, it's not short. And then in the input, still not short. Measure for five volts, not short. So let's test. So you can see now, we have 105 volts. So let's put back in the frame, then we can test. So let's put in the adapter and we see. Fan spin. But still, no display. Now, we have replaced these chips, but still the laptop is not giving out the necessary voltage. Now what we are going to do, uh, we are going to check for power good signals. Here in schematics, we have this chip which is called U7400. Now U7400 at pin 7, it gives out a signal called power good 3. So power good 3 is a collection of most of the signals that first boot up before we proceed to processor power and PCI power. So here it shows that this is an operation amp. This is a comparator. It compares the, the input from the reference. 
This is a collection of all the power good signals. Now we have 5 volts VS. It comes up to here. It goes to pin 5. We have VRP VDD2. This is power good for RAM. We have M power. This one is for chipset. We have sleep 3. This is a turn on signal. It's the same chip. On pin 3 is where the reference is connected. That's why you see that 3.3 volts reference. That's why you see it as ref. On pin 3 we have 1.05S. This is the chip we replaced, the first one for the chipset. So it, it has to send a power good signal here. Then we have G power good. These are graphics power good. Then we have 3.3S and then we have 1.5S. So all these signals come up to pin 3 and pin 5 so that this chip can give out power good 3 which means the first section of power signals are all fine. So this signal goes to the EC, then this one sends to the chipset and then the chipset proceeds. So we are going to first check the state of this chip. So the chip is here. I don't know if you can see it clear. Remember in the schematics it says pin 8 is V plus which means it's the power that turns on this chip. So we are going to check on pin 8 first to see if we have VCC. So this is pin 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here at pin 8, yes, VCC we have, that is 5 volts. Then we check for pin 7, which is attached to pin 1 through this line, to see if we have the output. So pin 7, since it's attached to pin 1, let's measure from pin 1, and we are having no output. So let's check on pin 3. Pin 3 we are having 1.2. Let's check for the reference which is pin number 2. And reference we have 0 0.6 volts. So let's measure pin 5. We have the reference. Pin 6. And we have 0 0.6. At pin 7 we have nothing. So this chip should be able to give out the good signals. But still it's not giving out. So let's change this chip before we go any further. So it is out. So you see this terminal was broken. Eh? So it means the 5 volts could have come very strong and shot out to this pin so that it actually broke from inside. So let's replace with another one. So I have got this. I've taken it out from this donor board. Let's plug in and let's measure. When I measure pin 1, we have 3.3. Remember, it wasn't giving out anything. Now, when I measure here, you see that we have 1.7. When I measure here, we have 1.5. So, let's, let me put it in into the frame when then we test the display. So, let's test. Let me plug in. Ooh. The laptop is now turning on. The fan is running. So I'm going to put the heat sink, assemble it back, and give it to the customer. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.